birds are singing their lovely songs. Excuse me? The birds, they are singing their lovely songs. I, I, I guess. Europe has lovely weather this time of year. Would you like to go there in my hot air balloon? What? There's room for two. I, I'm, I'm sorry, have we, have we met before? I was concerned you were not going to show. Huh? I notice you don't have a bag with you. Do you not remember our agreement? What agreement? Do you have short-term memory loss? The $20,000. What? In cash. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you made a mistake. Don't toy with me, Mr. Smith. I am not one to play games with. But I'm not Mr. Smith. What? I'm not Mr. Smith. Yes, you are. Uh, I, uh, I can assure you that I'm not. Oh, but you are, Mr. Smith. You responded correctly to my code words. Code words? Yes, code words. I told you to be reading a newspaper so I could find you. Then I come over and say, the birds are singing their lovely songs. To which you reply, I guess. Then I say, Europe has lovely weather this time of year. Would you like to go there in my hot air balloon? There's room for two. And it ends with you asking if we've ever met before. And then you give me the money. Is that so difficult? Have we ever met before in person? Of course not. We've only spoken telephonically. <laughs> so, you don't think that in a park this big, on a day this beautiful, that there might be more than one person sitting on a bench reading a newspaper? And then you come along saying these ridiculous things, expecting that person to answer back with these code words that basically anybody that has no idea what you're talking about would say anyway? No. You're trying to deceive me into believing I have the wrong man. But I never get the wrong man. <laughs> Besides, Mr. Smith, I don't think your wife would appreciate your act of subterfuge. My wife? Yes, your wife. But I'm not married. Yes, you are. Because I'm the one who kidnapped your wife. Well, you kidnapped somebody? Yes, your wife. I don't know who you kidnapped, but it's not my wife, okay? I'm gay. What? I'm gay. Does your wife know? No, you... So, it's okay. I'm not here to judge you. That's something between you and your wife, Mr. Smith. For the last time, I'm not Mr. Smith. Don't get aggressive with me, Mr. Smith, or my men will be forced to take action. Your men? My agents are all around us, but you cannot see them. They blend in so as to become invisible to the untrained eye. All I have to do is give the signal, and by the time you feel their silky smooth touch, it will be too late. Uh-huh. I see. Back to business. The money. I don't think you get it! I'm not Mr. No, Smith. you don't get it! I, I don't get the money. I'll be forced to take whatever action necessary in order to... Wait. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. You're doing what? You're harassing me. And you admitted to kidnapping somebody. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Kaga! Kaga! Damn it. Hello, police? Wait. Yeah. Hi, I'd like to report a kidnapping, please. No, please, please, please don't do that. Yes. I can't go back yes. to prison. Yes, I'll I hold. Drop the soap. I'll let her go. Hi. Uh, can you hold on a second? What? I, I'll let your wife go. Uh, I, you take the money, too. Just. How do I know my wife will be safe? I'll bring her to you. Deliver the package. But I don't have a package. I have a girl. The girl is the package, you idiot. Just bring it to me now! Just when I thought you couldn't get any more ridiculous, now you expect me to believe that you're talking through your hat and... Package delivered, sir. 
Wow. Really? Robert, we have a deal now, right? Right. Mr. Smith, you are one manipulative son of a bitch. I hope we never meet again. Oh my god, are you okay? I, I have no idea what's going on here. This crazy guy came up to me and started talking to me. He said that the birds are singing their lovely songs and then he... Europe has lovely weather this time of year. Would you like to go there in my hot air balloon? I'm sorry, have we met?